Back to the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. If you need a roof, make sure you call Ireland Contracting 1-800-NEW-ROOF. You know, Gene, not only do they do roofs. No, no, they do home exterior. They're the home exterior experts. Yeah, so number one in Pittsburgh. Roofing, Gutters, siding, siding windows, windows, gutters. Anything you need. Dog grooming. Everybody needs a roof. Yes, everyone needs a roof, and that's why they're number one in Pittsburgh, because they are the best in Pittsburgh at doing these kind of things. So... Make sure you give them a call, 412-575. No, that's us. 1-800-NEW-ROOF for Ireland Contracting. You can give us a call on the Board of Supporters hotline, 412-575-2600 is the number. Uh, probably talking about the Steelers a lot in the final preseason game here. If you guys have a question, you know, quarterback situation, a lot to talk about. Also, uh, do you like the move of Sean Rodriguez being DFA'd? Jordy Mercer was activated today, and they decided to keep Kevin Newman in the big leagues, I think it was a great decision, decision to keep him up there. I want to see some of these young guys play and not guys like Sean Rodriguez. Also, Gene, um, you excited for the Penguins? They're working out already in Cranberry. I saw some uh, sound uh, emailed to me today from uh, Penguin Workout in uh, Cranberry. Yeah, I was surprised to see that. Uh, when does camp really start or did it really start? No, it doesn't start until about three more weeks, the middle of September. Yeah, I can wait. Yeah, can wait. <laughs> Jack Johnson. <laughs> Was out there skating today, and hey, I heard, yeah. yeah, he was um, excited. It sounded like that he really is happy to be a part of a team like the Penguins, uh, coming from Columbus, but uh, also that he knows a few guys here. He's a too. major acquisition. That's yeah, sure. I think so too. I mean, his numbers might not show it, but um, you know, I think he'll be a good fit with his team, and he, he thinks he will be too. So, all right, let's get out to the phone lines. We're gonna go out to Joey out in Salzburg. What's up, Joey? Hi, Rich and Gene. Thanks hey, I have been reading reports on Twitter and on multiple NFL sites that the, the teams have been calling the Steelers about both Landry Jones and Josh Dobbs, I'm wondering if they were available for trade. I was wondering if you guys have been hearing the same things. One of the teams I have heard was Arizona was looking for a backup. All right, thanks a lot, Joey. I think a lot of it is wishful thinking on um, some people, bloggers, that put this out there, Gene. I haven't heard much, and I've been around there a lot. Have you heard anything about? I've not heard that, but it is. Uh, it's interesting that you mentioned Arizona. A lot of ex-Steelers seem to end up in Arizona, both coaches and players. So that wouldn't be totally shocking. I mean, uh, what would really shock me is if anybody other than Landry Jones and Mason Rudolph um, wound up being the backups for this team. What do you think the Steelers could realistically get for Landry Jones? Like, what if someone offered him a six-round pick? But you think they'd take that? Is that enough for him, or no, is that too I, much? I don't think they, they would. And I think a lot of NFL teams look at it this way, particularly a lot of NFL coaches, Rich. When the, the, if, when the number one quarterback goes down, coaches want to put somebody in the game who's been in a game. Yeah. Um, that's a big thing. It's a big security blanket for coaches. They're not going to wing it with, uh, say, say Rudolph and Dobbs, or, and they're not going to give Landry Jones away, I don't think, under any circumstances. Yeah, I don't think so, especially a year like this where, you know, they're one of the Super Bowl contenders, and if Ben's out for a few weeks, Landry Jones is a good fill-in. Yeah, he's gone in in one game. Yeah, and if, but if Ben's out for the entire year, uh, you're not going to the Super Bowl. At least I don't think so. You're not, no matter who the back is. Yeah. All right, let's go back out to the phone lines. We're going to go out to Nick out in Camdensburg. How you doing, Nick? What's up? Nick, you there? Yeah, hey, guys. I'm just a little curious. What, what is your actual thought, though, on you've got four quarterbacks, four very valuable quarterbacks. What would you do um, if it's up to you, uh, Rich, or you, Sean? What would you do as your, you know, you, you can only hold three of those guys. Um, I think all four are very valuable. Um, I'm not sure you can trade one or the other. Uh, what would you do with them? All right, thanks a lot, Nick. I appreciate the call. I can tell you what I would do, and I've, I've talked about this a few times on this show. Um, I'm keeping Roethlisberger, obviously, and I'm keeping Mason Rudolph and Josh Dobbs, and I'm trying to get something for Landry Jones, anything that I could get for him. Because um, I don't think, it, even if Ben misses a few games, I think maybe a, you could tr figure something out for a couple games with those two guys. That's what I would do. Um, I doubt that's what the Steelers are going to do, and, but I'd love to hear what you would do if you were the coach or your GM. I would keep Landry Jones under, would you? under any circumstance. I mean, that's, uh, I can tell you that they're going to I mean, Yeah, I, well, we know that's what we're going to do, but is that what you would do if you were the coach? Absolutely. I mean, okay. you want to put somebody in there who's been in a game. 
If you if you don't have Landry Jones and Ben goes down, what do you got? You got two rookies or two, a first year guy and a and a second year guy. Right. Um, now, here's what I found interesting, and I don't know if you found this interesting. We sat next to each other at the Tomlin press conference, but when he was asked about four quarterbacks, he made it a point to bring up twice that most, a lot of teams keep only two quarterbacks, which I thought that was interesting for Tomlin just to throw that out there. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what he meant by that. I don't know what he was intimating. I didn't infer anything from it. but Yeah, you? I don't know if I did either, but I, I felt it was weird that he just kind of threw that out there that, you know, um, that most teams would keep two quarterbacks over four quarterbacks. Now, I don't think the Steelers would do that at all, um, but I just thought it was weird. You know, maybe I'm reading too much into it yeah, and, and what he was saying, but, yeah, I don't, I don't see the Steelers keeping four quarterbacks whatsoever. You know, and Charlie Batch made a great point to me and Bob when we were doing the preseason games. Mm -hmm. He was talking about even with three quarterbacks, there's not enough reps for that third quarterback. So even as Mason Rudolph, you're kind of wasting him being the third quarterback because he's because Landry Jones is going to handle all the backup, the, the limited snaps that he gets, and he's going to do the scout team. So you can never carry four quarterbacks because it's basically um, they have nothing to do. Yeah. So it made a lot of sense because when he was talking about from experience when, when he was the third quarterback. So. But I appreciate the caller referring to me as Sean, my, my son. Your I son. I was also. kind of blew over that. I didn't know cool. if you caught that. Yeah, I like it. All right, let's go back out to the phone lines and go out to Lewis out in St. Mary. How you doing, Lewis? You there, Lewis? Okay, Pat and Cal, sorry. Did I take Pat and Cal? Lewis, you'll be up next. Pat and Cal, what's up? Uh, I, I want your comment. Uh, you're uh, on the game tomorrow. Uh, I'm predicting that the, the Steelers are going to have a rough time with the Carolina Panthers. <laughs> yeah, no, I want your comment on it. Hey, I appreciate the call, Pat. Um, you know, I'm not into predicting preseason games, Gene. Go ahead. Um, oh, What's if I'm going to predict it, uh, I'm going to say the Steelers are going to win this one 27 to 20. 20. That's my prediction. I don't know what the line is. But that's what I'm taking. Well, I'm Steelers done. winning this one. They got better backups. All right. Well, I'm going with the caller. He seems to be tuned in on this. Yeah, I think he. I so think he's I'll looking for a Carolina, tip. Carolina, fifty to nothing. Okay, now let's go out to Lewis out in um, St. Mary. What's up, Lewis? Yes. How Sorry. you doing? Good. Good. Thanks for calling. Good. You there? Yes, I am. Okay, go ahead. You're on the air. I'm talking about Le'Veon Bell. Go ahead. Um, yes, I'm okay. talking about Le'Veon Bell and uh, what's going on with with him. And I, would it, would it be better to? Well, I think Lewis is listening to his TV and trying to talk on the phone, and there's a delay. So if you're going to call in here, so when you call, call in, yeah. please turn your TV all the way up. That's the way it works best. Yeah, right. and then you can listen with the delay. So Gene. Um, I think he was trying to ask about Le'Veon Bell. Yeah, yes, he'll be three here times. Monday. Yeah, I, he'll be here Monday. He's not going to he, risk. He'll start at Cleveland, and he'll be the future back all the way through the season unless he gets hurt. Yeah, That's what's gonna happen. he's not going to risk. I know there's some speculation, and James Harrison said that he should sit out whatever, how many games until he has to report. But that you're talking about nine hundred thousand dollars a game. Who's going to do that? This is a guy that wants money. You know, and that's the reason he's not signed. You think he's going to give up $900,000 to prove a point? No, no I don't either. So he'll be here this weekend sometime, um, Monday, whatever the day is. Um, he he'll be practicing. It's like Santa coming in the uh, Thanksgiving parade. He'll be in the Labor Day parade. He'll be in the Labor Day parade. We're, we're anxious to see him. We'll be there Monday uh, trying to get an interview with Le'Veon Bell. Um, and he'll be, yeah, like you said, he'll be starting. Would you, I know there's a lot of uh, talk out there. Would you... Give James Conner more reps, more chances? Um, I think he's earned, you know, more chances, and I think he's done a great job. But he's not Le'Veon Bell. But you got, the, you got the best runner in the league. Yeah, you're right. That's, I agree with you right there. All right, we've got to take a break. Back with more of your phone calls. Some of your tweets coming up next. Stay right there.